Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert anything into your header or footer and how you can align it and move it around. Often when you use headers and footers, it's quite tricky to get the text exactly where you want it, particularly if you want to insert something like pictures or an icon or a logo or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I've opened up my default document and there's two ways you can access the header or footer. The first way is to go up to the insert tab and to go along to either the header and footer. If you go along here and you click on the drop down then you have a number of different options to choose from but if you don't actually want any of those then all you need to do is go to the top or the bottom of your page and just simply double click. And you know you're in the header and footer because obviously this blue header icon appears as does the footer. So once we're in there obviously you can go ahead and type in what you want. Alternatively we can insert a text box. Go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down, select draw text box, go back to your document, make sure you're still in the header or footer, click and drag. Now you don't have to worry too much about how big this box is, you can adjust it all later. So if we just put in a piece of text, And we can go ahead and adjust this text, put the correct font in, highlight it, go to the Home tab, choose a font, and you can go ahead and adjust all the font sizes, colours, etc. in this section here. Now if I click off this box, make sure you don't click in this area here because you will actually come out of the header and footer. So if I double click there, you can see that this is slightly greyed out, which means we're no longer within the header. So double click back in. If I click off this box, you can see it's got a black border. It also has a white background. So if you change the background color of this page, you'd have a white box with a black border. So we're just going to change that. So highlight your text box. Once you've done that, you'll see this tab appear at the top here called Shape Format. Click on that and then go to this section here. Go to Shape Fill, click on the drop down and select No Fill. Then go up to this icon here, which is the outline, and select No Outline. So when I click back off the text box, you can see that we don't have any of those borders. Now if you want them, obviously go ahead and, and keep them. It's completely up to you. So the next thing I'm going to do is just reduce the size of this text box. And then if I wanted to insert some more text elsewhere within this header, because I've now customized this text box the way I want it, all I'm going to do is copy and paste, Command or Control C, Command or Control V, or just hit the Option key, click and drag, and it will copy and paste it for you. Okay, so now we've got an identical text box. You can go ahead, double click inside the text box, press Command or Control A to select all the text, and then just insert alternative text. Now, you may want this section here to be in the very center of your document. If that's the case, make sure you've highlighted this text box. Make sure that this text here is in the center. If it's not, you need to go up to the Home tab and along to this center icon here. Click on it and it will center the text within your text box. You now need to center the text box to your page. So go back up to Shape Format, go along to Align, click on the drop down and select align to center and that will ensure this middle text box is perfectly aligned in the center of your page. Now if you happen to nudge this text box out of the way and you want to make sure that it's aligned with this text box then select the text box, press down the command or control key on your keyboard, select the second text box Make sure you're on Shape Format and go back over to the Align tab, click on the drop down and you can either select Align to Middle 
align to top or align to bottom. It's completely up to you. So if I select align to middle, it will now realign those two text boxes so they're perfectly in line to the center. So the next thing is if you wanted to insert something that isn't text, perhaps a, an image or a logo. So again, ensure you're still within the header. Go to insert, picture, picture from file. I'm going to select this circular logo, click insert. And then all I'm going to do is reduce the size of this. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit clunky. So before we do that, we need to decide on its wrapping. So make sure the logo is highlighted. Make sure you're on picture format. If this tab doesn't appear, it's because you haven't selected your picture. Go over to this wrap text icon, click on the drop down, and select in front of text. And you can see the header line has reduced back up to the top. Now you can move this logo and reduce it and move it anywhere you want. Now obviously you can move it to here, but if we pop it into this section here, we need to ensure that it's actually within the header. The way to do that is to double click outside the header and you can see it's been faded out and that means it's actually gone into the header section. The other way to test this is to go to insert, page break, click on page break and you can see that it's reappeared on the second page within the header section. So if I wanted to put more of a sort of logo next to it here, I can go back to my text box, hold down the Alt key and drag, double click inside, Command or Control A. I'm going to type globe. I'm going to highlight the text, Command or Control A. Go back up to the Home tab. I'm going to select a different font. And I'm going to increase the size of that font. Just open up that text box a little bit. Just move that over. And then again, I'm going to copy this, hold my Alt key down and drag. And then I'm going to double click inside here and then insert some different text. Reduce the size of that text box, move it over. And I can play around with this text until it suits my needs. I'm just going to reduce the size of that slightly. Now, if you can't move this text box, it's because your cursor is still inside. You have to move the cursor over to the edge of the box where it turns into a cross arrow and then you can move it round. So move it wherever you want to. You can use your arrow keys if you wish. It's completely up to you. So once you're happy with where this is placed, you can actually join these two together. Select one of them, hold the command or control key down on your keyboard, select the other one, go to shape format, go along to group, click on the drop down and select group. And now those two pieces of text operate as one group. You can go back and ungroup it. So if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Now the only problem with this is that when you try to click on the picture, the picture is actually underneath it. So if I try and click on it, it will actually highlight this text. So it's quite important to ensure that this little icon here is exactly where you need it before you go ahead and move this. Okay, now double click back off and you can see that everything has been slightly greyed out, which means that all of this is contained within your header section. Now of course you've got so many options with this, you can change the text, you can change the colour, you can change the size of it, but these text boxes are so flexible, they allow you to move text around anywhere in your header and footer. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.